Today we're going to talk about a topic I get asked a fair amount, and that is how to figure out whether you have a factory locker in your GM truck or SUV. So we're going to do a case study, first with the Colorado, and then also with this GMC Yukon. So the Colorado is a 2011, and um, with the Colorado, it's actually pretty obvious um, visually from the outside that it has a locker. You'll see the giant Z71 sticker. Um, part of the Z71 package was the locker, an automated locker from Eaton. And with this GMC Yukon, it's a little less obvious. So there's not a lot of badging um, where you expect some sort of sticker off-road. There's nothing there. Um, on the back, some other places for badging, also nothing there. So in situations like that, how in the world do you figure out if you have a locker? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So go into your glove box, and uh, you're going to have to get rid of all the junk because uh, you're going to need to see the sticker underneath. So junk remove. With the junk remove, we have access to the service parts identification sticker. And what you'll see here is a series of three-digit RPO codes. And the sticker we're looking at right now is for the 2004 GMC Yukon. The code we're looking for is G80. Now what that means um, depends on the GM vehicle. So for cars, it has a little bit of different meaning. We're not going to get into that. But for trucks, it means you have a locker. And in this case, the locker that GM has been using for decades is the Eaton M locker, as in mechanical locker, sometimes called the Eaton G80, sometimes called the GovLock. Without getting in too much into the weeds about the exact mechanicals, um, some principles of operation of the G80 locker are that when a wheel speed difference between left and right of greater than 100 RPM is detected, it will lock up and act like a locking differential until the vehicle goes above 20 miles an hour or changes direction. So if you put it in reverse, you know, and you've been going forward and drive, that will also unlock it. So there are a couple ways you can actually field test this. Um, one is to get one of the wheels off the ground, as shown here. Um, the issue with this is if you don't have a locker and you end up with one wheel off the ground, and even with four-wheel drive, but certainly in two-wheel drive, you will have gotten yourself stuck. So this is not necessarily the best method, but it is a method. So in this case, what you would see is the wheel would spin, and then it would lock up, and then this vehicle would be able to walk off in two-wheel drive. All right, so let's see it in action on the 2004 Yukon. One more time, notice how hard it lurches forward. And a couple times in slow-mo. So certainly not a smooth engaging locker, but it certainly does the trick to get you out of hairy situations. So here we are looking at the um, service parts identification for the Colorado. Once again, we see G80 indicating the Eaton M locker. But for the Colorado, we also see another RPO code, and that's the Z71, which of course matches the stickers. I'm going to show you one more method, and what you do is you put the vehicle in park, have it up on jack stands, and you give the wheel a sudden burst of acceleration, and it'll kick back. That's another way to validate that your locker is working. So why do we care about lockers? Well, as you know, if you have an open differential and one wheel has traction and the other wheel does not, the wheel without traction will spin and the vehicle won't go anywhere. And uh, with the locker, you'll be able to basically lock up those wheels and be able to get moving even in two wheel drive. And certainly it can help you do um, things like towing in the snow or, or in the mud, help you in certain off-road situations as well. So lots more videos like this coming. Please subscribe for more content.